Okay, so I wanted to show you, there's a couple different types of uh, mimosa trees aside from the standard. I don't know if this is just a, this umbrella is just a um, marketing gimmick or not. 30 feet tall and wide. I mean, it doesn't really look any different than my regular one. And then here is the um, one I've talked about before, the chocolate fountain. So this has a kind of like a weeping habit. Uh, 15 to 20 feet tall, 12 to 15 feet wide. Zone six, um, probably on the high end of zone six. So you can see they're kind of, when the leaves come first come out, they're a bit of a greenish form, but then they turn more brown. So it's got kind of a, you can see the structure here very weepy. I'm not sure if I really like it. I have the standard chocolate form that I think will probably look a little bit better, but these ones, these umbrella ones, which are probably just regular form, look pretty good. And the one thing about mimosa, they're just waking up. It's cloudy. They close their leaves at night. So, and then they open up ones on top here a little more open so these ones I mean they must have come from California they already have the flower buds and everything I mean mine don't yeah, look at these I mean greenhouse grown for sure they're way ahead but uh, there you go they're about 80 90 dollars and there's some uh, bigger ones so this is oh here we go here's chocolate about two hundred dollars but it's a really good size. The chocolate ones grow slow. And this kind of looks how mine are looking right now. The leaves are just coming out. So nice tree for your uh, subtropical garden, the Albizia. And they come in at least four different varieties, two of the green and two of the brown.